one second five? Yeah, that's very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hit the gym real quick, super early in the morning. Uh, it's actually my morning routine to come to the gym first thing in the morning. Um, I feel like it wakes me up uh, really well, so it's just what I do. Don't really add it into the vlogs, uh, but I should. I, I feel like I should just start adding more of like the lifestyle and more of like what I do on a daily basis in the vlogs. Um, Anyways, today is a VR4 video. Today we're gonna be going ahead and installing some R1 Concept rotors and pads on the 3000 GT VR4. The OEM rotors and pads on that thing have been on there probably since 98, since the car came out. Um, and they're rusted for one, they make a lot of noise, and I also wanna restore the caliper. So I do wanna paint them. Once AutoZone got this caliper paint in red. Sorry, look at how cute he is. Is he, is he pooping right now? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, bro. Why are you, why are you, why is he walking and doing it? You disrespect, bro. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> Today we have these R1 concepts for the VR4. We're going to have to move the car right now, but I'm just going to click on boxing. So we have the rotors uh, drilled and slotted. Of course, we have the brake pads. We're going to be painting them red. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cut. We could just push it in. Surprise, it runs. <laughs> yes, we got it. It sounds like it's a race car, but it's not. She's gonna blow! So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the front driver's side first. From there we're gonna go ahead and move on to that side. It's raining, it's raining. All right, so here are the OEM VR4 uh, rotors. Uh, here is the caliper. I know for the VR4 we do tend to have bigger brakes than the regular SL guys, but if you guys see back here, it's a little bit dark, but there's two bolts holding the caliper to the suspension right here. Um, it is a 17 millimeter. Here we have the old rotor. As you guys can see, it was pretty bad in itself. Um, it it's looks in the 90s. Yeah. Um, we do have some axle grease from the back there, uh, but we are going to go ahead and start taking off the hardware up off the caliper first. Uh, we do plan on painting this thing at the end, uh, but it's pretty similar to the Brembo setup from what I can tell. It's a four piston caliper. You grab a screwdriver, a hammer, you start off by taking off these two pins here. That will give you access to being able to push these pins outward so it releases the brake pads inside. Marissa thinks that it's a better idea to paint the calipers at the end once everything's on. So I'm going to follow her lead on this one. Um, we are going to go ahead and compress the pistons here. You just stick it in here like this, mate. And you got to make sure that it's clear on the other side. So you compress two pistons at a time? Yeah. Well, you have gloves on, I don't. Be careful, cuidado. Cuidado, cuidado mate. Mate. All right, now can you get the caliper and put it on top of the rotor? Yeah. Yes, heavy. yes. I only have one arm. What do you mean? <laughs> Sometimes we forget to record, but. Wait, you got a mouse in your <laughs> Rotor's on, just slides right on. Uh, we went ahead and bolted the caliper on with one bolt. Uh, we had to make sure that the pistons were completely flat. And then after that, we just slid in the brake pads, and Marissa's now adding the pins and the rest of the hardware in there. Uh, to get it all together. Um, I'm assuming you're gonna want to basically paint it right after this, right? Or what was your plan? Send it down. Send it down. This thing is not fitting in the hole. Oh, there it is. <laughs> all right, we're gonna bolt this thing back up and then uh, we're gonna start sanding. Standing. Okay, all right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you take off the rear caliper with a 214. <laughs> Can you shut up, please? <laughs> you're gonna have to take off the 214 millimeter bolts holding the caliper to the suspension.
Damn, look at that. It's like the core. Yeah. It's like spider eggs. But nitrogen. Si se puede. What's kind of hard when I'm recording, you know? There you go. Take off the brake pads in the back. Same thing. You take off the clip. Take off the pin. Stick everything off. Put everything in reverse order. Clean it off. Sand it down. Put the rotor. Pretty simple. So let me take care of that real quick and we'll get back to you guys. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Sounds simple. Is it simple though? No. No. It's always both to different sizes or you lose the socket that you needed or it was in front of you the whole time and you can't find it because you're blind and you're over thinking. Who hurt you? <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and finished the back. How you doing though? Where are you cut at? Cut off my lip. How'd you cut off your lip? I was using the tape to, or I was using my mouth to. Of course, I feel like the hardest part is gonna be for you to compress the piston, so get the tool for that to make everything easier. The rotor just slips in and out to make sure your e-brake is down because if it's up, you're not gonna be able to remove this. Right, so we're gonna start off with some VHT primer, um, high heat resistance, of course. And then from there, we're gonna work on the caliper paint, high heat resistant as well. Do you care about the floor? Should you put cardboard down? Mm, I don't have any cardboard. That's not a light layer, that's the whole ass. This thing sprays a lot. It does actually. Yeah. How's it going? She's mad at me. Why are you mad at me right now? You tell me why. <laughs> why? Why is it, that mad? Because it's taking too long? Why? Because he, this is the second time he's done this to me. Where he chooses to paint his calipers in a day and thinks it's a five minute process. It is. Then why do we take so long? Because you keep taking breaks. Not <laughs> Last caliper primered. Um, I have two coats on this one. And I have three coats on this one. Three coats on that one. Yeah. Be careful, it's hanging off. Bam, check that out. Huh? Nothing. I'm just filming. No, that's good. Yeah, I feel like it stands out more, so now we could uh, start taking all this off. One thing I hate about black cars is that they get this filthy in a matter of a day or two. I literally had it pretty clean last night and waking up with some slight fog caused it to get super dirty. So I don't plan on keeping it black, but the R1 concept rotors are on. Honestly, the red on the calipers looks really, really good. It complements the lug nuts very well. Uh, let me show you guys the front. And for the front, of course, we have everything done super, super nicely. Now, of course, I did mention upgrading to the Brembos. Um, of course, I did do it on the Eclipse because the Eclipse comes with a dual piston. Super small caliper and upgrading to a four piston Brembo it makes such a big difference. But for you VR4 guys, it's more of just a nice upgrade to have. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I will be leaving the link down below with a discount code for all you guys that want to get these as well in the description. Besides that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Like, comment, subscribe like I always say, and I'll see you on the next one.